Hello travelers, my name is Rebecca Murphy. Hi, I'm Steph Dyson. Hello, my name is Mary Ellen Dingley. Hi, my name is Dominic Fusco. Hi, my name is Mary Ellen Tabacoli. Hi, my name is Joe Santini, and I've been confidently getting lost around this earth for about two years now. Those who decide to work abroad are badass. The rewards of it are enormous, whether it's for your job prospects, whether it's for learning a language, whether it's for travel, or whether it's just for life experience. Nothing beats working abroad. Finding a job abroad is not an easy task but it's easy to get started, kind of. Going online and reading up the different jobs that are available is obviously the first step. You have to decide where you want to go. All about location, location, location. You know, if there's a company that has offices all over the world and one of those offices is where you want to be, go for it. Make yourself a solid resume, do a ton of research, and then apply to as many positions and companies as you can. Uh, make sure you read the reviews. That's the kind of information that people have firsthand, and it's really, really important. Every opportunity sounds picture perfect, um, but the reviews is what actually kind of present the hardships or even the little surprises that actually will make a difference to you in your decision making. Make sure as you're applying that you're paying attention to the dreaded visa rules and what the company will or won't sponsor. Because you definitely want to make sure that any work visa is squared away. The world is really your oyster. There's plenty of different options. And, and working abroad might feel like a totally far out there dream, but can do it. Go online, read reviews, pick a company in a country that you definitely want to be in, get a job, and finally, get flushed with cash! When you start your job search, I would be focused and organized and make sure you put in the time to do your research. Finding a job abroad can be a challenge. It can be hard to stay positive and keep your end goal in mind. Remember that there is a light at the end of the tunnel and you're doing all of this for a reason. Keep looking because you have what it takes. Don't be afraid to network, go to networking events, tell people you want to make the move, and you never know what connections might come up. But just, just start. If you're not finding a good fit in terms of the job, then remember it's a bit like um, going and finding a new pair of shoes. They're not going to fit everybody, and they might not fit you, but that's, it's not the end of the world. You will find something that suits you, and it's better to wait for a job that you're really, really passionate about. The good fits take time. You just got to keep looking. You never know when, where, or how the perfect opportunity is going to fall into your lap, but it will. If you've been at it for a while and applied to 50 or 100 or a million different jobs with no response, it can be extra hard to stay motivated. But remember, this is a numbers game. People send out hundreds of applications they don't always hear back. And it doesn't mean they're a bad candidate, it can just be all about timing, or maybe they're not able to sponsor a visa right now, or who knows? Then, once you score that coveted role, pack your bags and go! Your first day at a new job is tough. Remember to take things slow. But these things get better. You're in a new country, in a new city, with all new co-workers, and you've come all on your own, and the best thing you can do is just be completely open to it. But that's all part of the adventure, right? That's part of why you chose to work abroad for the experience, and you're going to get one. You will miss home at some point. So be prepared for it and embrace it. Make sure that you're talking to the people back at home who care about you. Think about all the great opportunities that you've had since you've moved abroad, how much you've grown, all the great people you've met. Even though it's tough, you're learning so much and you're having an experience that will be so unique on your resume. Working abroad can leave you wondering why not you're doing it. Anytime you kind of feel doubtful or a little like hesitant, Remember all the times where you catch yourself thinking, why didn't I do this sooner? It's an incredibly brave thing to do. When your parents and friends or birds um, are kind of pressuring you to go home and remind you, you know, to come back. Do what we travel pros do. Ignore it. Explain to your friends and family back home what working abroad means to you. And don't have the regrets of going home early because you may never have the same opportunities again. Go forth with confidence. Best of luck and make it rain. Euros or pesos or whatever kind of currency your heart and bank account desire.